contribution. What contribution do you want to make to the world? What legacy do you want to live? Volunteer time, philanthropy, making a difference, ending hunger, whatever it might be. And that's an important one that most people don't think that much about. But I'll tell you, I've spent a lot of time with billionaires who have everything you think you'd ever want and they're still unhappy. And one of the people I met with was worth about $500 million. And he said his life went through four stages. The first stage, he said, was called stuff. He figured if he had lots of stuff, he'd be happy. He had lots of stuff, cars, boats, planes, wasn't happy. He said, I guess I'd need uh, better stuff. So he got better stuff, right? <laughs> a better plane, a better house, a better whatever. Still wasn't happy. Then he said, maybe I've got the wrong stuff. <laughs> if I own a football team, maybe that would make me happy. Still wasn't happy. And then he went into the fourth phase of his life unexpectedly. A friend asked him to come with him to give out some wheelchairs to kids who'd lost their legs and landmines and stuff in Bosnia and Croatia. So he flies over and they're putting kids in wheelchairs. And one of the kids in one of his visits, he put him in a wheelchair, 11-year-old boy, and he turned away and the kid wouldn't let go of his leg. And he turned back and through an interpreter, the boy said, don't leave yet. He said, I want to memorize your face. He says, because when we meet again in heaven, I want to be able to say thank you one more time. And he said, that was the first time in my life I felt pure joy. See, and the pure joy comes from giving. Giving that which you think you want to receive. And then it comes back, we always hear the word multiplied, and it truly does. 